looking back, maybe Calvin McRae is better off for what he went through in the summer of 2003. It was hard, you know, because this is my first year in so many years of being away from the game. Signed to a letter of intent out of Avondale High School in Atlanta, McRae brought his Georgia draw to Ohio University for preseason camp in late July 2003, only to be told a few days later that he had to return home because he had not gained final eligibility approval from the NCAA Clearinghouse. I remember sitting at home and watching Georgia Tech play and watching Reggie Ball start as a true freshman and me and Reggie graduated the same year out of the same county in Georgia and DeKalb County. And it was just hard watching him and Craig Lumpkin also just watch those guys play and knowing that I could have had that opportunity. To get back on the football field, Calvin first had to return to the classroom and improve his SAT score. Doing so meant juggling a testing opportunity with a family funeral, but that moment of sadness may have provided just what was needed to get Calvin McRae into college. My great aunt had just passed away. I told myself if I didn't make it this time, I, I, I really didn't want to take it again. You know, and I, for some reason, I feel deep down she was with me when I went there and took it because, like, you know, God blessed me with getting the score and I was able to start school. Enrolling in the spring quarter of 2004, McRae was able to participate in the last two weeks of spring practice. The following fall, he burst onto the scene, running for 100 yards in his Bobcat debut and leading the team in rushing as a freshman. His sophomore season proved to be a breakout year as McRae compiled the third best rushing total in Ohio University history. And now the unassuming McRae wants his experience to serve as a lesson for those who have similar dreams. I try to tell all the high school players, like when I go back home or if I talk to any of my old coaches and they tell me they have talent on their team but they just won't do the right thing in the classroom, I try to stress the importance of being a student athlete. I'm Derek Scott reporting.